This is uh, State Senator Patrick Dignan, who is the chair of the Senate Transportation Committee. Good to see you, Senator. Thanks for having me. How are we doing with New Jersey Transit? I just figured I'd jump I mean, right into it. I mean, it. I, know it's, I know it's easy to pile I'm on. I'm not making jokes. I'm just asking. <laughs> it's easy to pile on, Steve. I'm not... <laughs> and don't talk about how long it took no, you to I get just, here. I heard your train was late today. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, what do you think, I don't want to say the problem, the primary problems are with New Jersey Transit? Well, let's be perfectly honest. Neglect. I mean, it had uh, at least four years of total neglect. Now, no uh, uh, training classes for engineers. Uh, diverting the money from the turnpike to for day-to-day uh, -day operations. I mean, n positive traction control, positive train control hadn't even begun. I mean, the, for, in, in full disclosure, the governor, the commissioner, the director were really let, left with a you-know-what problem when they came in. It sounds like you're putting this on the Christie administration. Isn't that too easy, respectfully, Senator? Well, <laughs> no, but, but do you really believe that that is the primary cause of where we are right now? Yes. With, with trains that are delayed, canceled, no communication or terrible communication, forget about the bus side. I mean, seriously, you're putting it all on Christie? Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's first of all, about 500,000 people a day take New Jersey, the buses and the trains. Right. We have the unique situation of a significant, probably more than half our population, works either in New York or uh, uh, Pennsylvania or yep. Philadelphia. So you have such a demand on the structure. We have the situation with the tunnel. You and I both know. They're talking about the one seat. They can't even uh, uh, approve any more one seats because there's no capacity in the tunnel. If Chris Christie, in, in fairness, and I like Chris Christie. You didn't make it was against the tunnel, the no, arc tunnel? If the arc tunnel, it'd be done right what now. What would it be? It'd be done. Ten years. It'd be, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It was ten. But it was eight. They had okay. actually started acquiring the property when Chris what would Christie. Be, what would be in place right now if Christie hadn't done the that? The Arctunnel would be fun, done. Or, what or would that have to do done. with transportation? Well, it would have to do with trains getting into New York City. I mean, and, and the one seat and all the other issues. I mean, is it a problem? Is it something that we need? I mean, I, I salute the Senate president and... Uh, the speaker for uh, having independent committees to let's get on this and let's all work together to get it done. Is it is it a problem? Is it something that needs attention? Is it something that needs different points of view? Absolutely positive. So, by the way, let's be clear. There's a Senate Select Committee. Is that what Correct. it is? And I'm going to be clear on this. It is a committee that is established to do what? To basically listen to the riders. In fact, our first hearing is going to be... Uh, tomorrow night. In, We're in actually Hobart. taping on November 12th. This okay, will be okay. seen okay. after that. Go okay, ahead. okay. And really basically get input from folks. Uh, you know, let's say tomorrow, let's say you and I took over New Jersey Transit tomorrow. And we decided we wanted to purchase 500 more trains and 300 more buses. It would take four or five years to get them, to get them delivered. You know, now the issue is with electric. Should we go electric or shouldn't we go electric with the school buses and, and the other buses? Of course we should. But they aren't even manufacturing them quickly enough. Is it a problem? Is it unacceptable? Yes, but it's not something that you just put a magic wand over. But, Senator, what about the whole question of the number of conductors, mm -hmm. right? Is it conductors that we're talking about? Mm -hmm. They're woefully short. What, did everyone quit all at once? Well, that's what I'm saying. This, this, is, this, is a, this is a crisis that has been uh, piling up, and it's actually engineers. We both oh, sorry, engineers. I'm sorry. They're close enough. Engineers. <laughs> so the, the, we don't have enough engineers, mm -hmm. trained engineers. And I know that because NJTV News, check this out, our colleagues here did a great story on a graduating class. So there are how many, what, 20 or so? Uh, at the end of this year, there'll be 40 more, okay. and hopefully by the end of next year, I think the number is 120. Where does that leave us? It leaves a big problem because l last year at this very date when we had that snow event, the trains were delayed. The, en the uh, uh, engineers can only work so many hours because of safety precautions. Right. So the next day, a disproportion of, um, of engineers couldn't even come to work. They were prohibited from coming to work because of the safety issue. So we had chaos for several days in a row. It's, it's, it, is, it is a complication that you clearly we wish we could address in a second, but, but it's going to take time. But it's time. interesting, Senator. You're the chair of the Senate Transportation Committee, but all the yeah, discussion so far... Up. Well, no, but <laughs> this is... Like the, it, like but it. the entire discussion with me, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm pretty confident with others, is about New Jersey Transit. But to be head of the Transportation Committee in the Senate means roads, bridges, everything, right? Correct. What are we dealing with in, ter in terms of the sexy word infrastructure? Mm -hmm. Bridges. Mm -hmm. Credible account as to how many of our bridges are either in disrepair, got a problem with, dangerous on, you pick your adjective. Where are we with them? 
they are right now in the process of evaluating those, and, and they're actually using the, the uh, transportation trust fund money. One of the priorities is to, to for bridges. I mean, again, let's let's just look at a real life situation. Sure. Let's go back to trains for a second. I was at an event in North Brunswick the other day where the state is putting fifty million dollars into developing a train station in North Brunswick. We're do talking about doing the same thing in Canada. We're talking about the light rail. I mean, there's so many various diverse issues that are going on. But I, I, I think the main thing you're saying, why are we having the hearings? I think the main thing is let's identify priorities and it's going to take money and you got to direct the money towards it. In fairness, 75 million was previously diverted from the Turnpike Authority. That is no longer being done. We put an extra $50 million in last year's budget for it to address transportation issues. But it's going to take time. I, I mean, I wish there was a magic formula. So we're actually today, as we're taping here at NJTV Studios, um, we're going to have the head of New Jersey Transit, Kevin Corbett, going to be talking to us. Right. Is his job right now in this particular, at this time, is it virtually impossible? No. Nothing's impossible. Okay, in terms of seeing tangible solutions, tangible improvements, I think this is what I hear you saying. Not anytime soon because this is a long time coming. It's going to be a long time turning this around. That's what I'm hearing. Well, but, you know, I, I guess is the last half full or half empty. I mean, a lot has been accomplished. I mean, the positive train control, uh, getting the, the one seat back in place with the Westfield line, et cetera, the Princeton line, getting Atlantic City straightened up. I mean, it's the, uh, improving the New Brunswick train station, a whole bunch of other train stations. Elizabeth with, with the first one where we're actually going to do the, the project the design and work at the same time. So there actually has been progress, but it's frustrating. Let me ask you this uh, for the chat here. Do you foresee the folks in New Jersey Transit, the board, because I believe it's the board that does right. this, potentially calling for a fair increase this summer? Absolutely no idea. I, uh, but, it, but in all, and, and would you be against it? Here's my theory. If you said to the average commuter, you're going to pay an extra buck each way to go into the city or whatever, and it's going to be used and give tangible, real uh, results. With Here's, deadlines? With deadlines. I think they'd go along with it. With but, deadlines? With deadlines. As opposed to open-ended. One exactly. day, it's, we're going to try to be better. That's not know. good enough. Exactly. And I've always believed that. I've always believed that if the citizens know where the money is going, like the Transportation Trust Fund, the gas yes. tax. I ran the year with the gas tax. Everybody said, my God, you're Raising going, the gas yeah. tax. Everybody said, you're, Pat, you're, you kiss your office goodbye. People understood what it was being used for. I won by a bigger majority than the year before. I've been listening to Senator Patrick Dignan, who is the chair of the Senate Transportation Committee. And uh, we look forward to having you back, Senator. Yeah. Okay. Well said. Anytime. Good Keep job. up the good work. This is State of Affairs. I'm Steve Adubato. We'll be right back. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by Hackensack Meridian Health, PSE&G, the law firm of Gibbons, PC, NJ Best, Keystone Mountain Lakes Regional Council of Carpenters, International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 825, Fedway Associates, Suez, and by these public-spirited organizations, individuals, and associations committed to informing New Jersey citizens about the important issues facing the Garden State, and by Employers Association of New Jersey. Promotional support provided by NJ Advance Media, and by ROINJ.